So, hey everybody, I'm here with Michelle. What's your last name, Michelle? Coulter. Coulter. And this is Ben. And I just, I, I, we were just inside having some lunch. And I remarked on what a beautiful dog Ben was. And Ben is a medical service dog. And I asked you what that was. Can you explain to them what that is? Uh, yes. He actually, uh, I contracted Lyme disease and developed tremors and convulsions due to that. And he actually alerts uh, to those. He actually lets me know. Uh, depending on what he's, his behavior is, whether I'm going to have just a muscle tremor or a full-out convulsion. And how much, how much lead time does he give you before he alerts you that you're going to have a convulsion or a tremor? Um, well, as, as when he was starting out, he actually uh, was alerting two days prior to uh, an act, actual episode, so we had to, to get that down. Um, now he can give me up to, he will actually give me either two minutes or up to 30 minutes to you know, whether I'm driving or, or whether I'm somewhere that I can just sit down. So, so you're riding in a car, you're driving in a car, and Ben is in the passenger seat? Uh, he sits in the back. Okay. He has the back seat because he's too big to be in the front. Um, <laughs> but he sits in the back, and he, and he will either nudge me or um, do what he just did, get my face. Um, now, if it's a full-out convulsion, he will actually grab a hold of my clothing and pull me if I'm not paying attention to what he's trying to tell me. And so, wow, that's amazing. So, so did you? So you said that initially he started, he started giving you a signal sometimes a day in advance. Two days. Two days. So then, how did you train him to do it more proximal to when you were actually going to have the seizure? Uh, once I realized what he was actually trying to tell me, I actually started rewarding him for alerting and telling me that I was going to have a problem. And so then he started getting it closer and closer to the actual episodes. Um, so that he would actually tell me sooner, you know, when I was actually going to have it so that I could actually react. It was two days prior to, you don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but, uh, but so I just rewarded his behavior. Um, and then he got closer and closer to the actual episodes. So how old was he when you started, when you noticed that he had this ability and then when you started training him? Um, he started alerting actually around six months of age. It took me um, to about 10 when he was 10 months um, before I actually put it together um, because it was so far in advance. And then from there, it just um, went forward. Um, he was actually certified um, by the time he was 16 months old. Wow. Um, so he was, um, you know, I, I train for behavior and for correct behavior. And so his obedience was already there. We just had to stipulate the the indoors and going to restaurants and things of that nature. Um, so he was actually very easy to work with. That's great. And is there any, does any, has anybody tell, told you or do you know how, what is he sensing? They can't, they don't know. They don't know if it's a chemical change or a smell, uh, you know, or whether it's, um, you know, just an odor that he's picking up or whether it's both, a combination of both. Um, maybe it's a, a or whether he's actually picking up chemical responses from me. Um, they don't know. Um, that's one of the uh, mysteries of having a service you know, dog. There's a lot of answers we don't have. Right, and then and then just one other question. So he's so big, like are there issues with having a service dog that is this big? Yes, there is. Um, most service dogs are, um, are trying to actually go underneath the table um, or underneath the chair and lay down. And unfortunately, because of his size, he can't do that. Um, so I had to adjust um, myself uh, and the way that I handle uh, a situation like sitting at a table to make sure that I have appropriate uh, facilities for him as well. Yeah, that's great. Well, thank you so much. This is one of the great things about coming to North American Veterinary Conference. You meet amazing, have amazing people with amazing stories like Ben here. Talk to you soon.